We farm a wee bit differently to the normal traditional New Zealand farm as we house our cows inside, we milk them through the Lely Astronaut and we do this because my father is from Holland and he was growing up with freestyle barns and milking cows under a roof and he's seen the way of the future to invest into um, robotic milking. He sees it's um, something that's going to expand in the future because of more and more rules around the environment and having cows out in the fields. So um, he has set this up so that we can be ahead of the game and um, continue to keep farming um, sustainably and profitably. The goals are the farm to breed a moderate sized cow that um, does really high, high yield, um, not in the way of litres but the way in milk solids. So a heifer that would do 650 milk solids and a cow that would do 800 milk solids in her 305 days of milk lactation. Um, we can see this on the T for C and this helps us um, alongside using genomic testing to breed from the best cows and to breed from our best heifers also so that we can improve the quality of a herd. I think within the barn it's really important to have quality over quantity within the cows as it's, um, we are putting everything into this, feed, you know, staff, we're really working hard so we'd like to get as much out of the barn as we can. We milk cows through conventional rotary systems also and um, we find that the Lely um, astronauts are vastly better because we can track the cow's performance, we can uh, use this data to, um, to look at any, any health issues or any breeding, breeding techniques we want to put over these cows and we can just monitor their performance day to day really easily. I think the breeding is a really important thing within the barn. So we're really concentrating on that at the moment. We're doing genomic testing and really picking out our best cows and going for it on the breeding side. So I think that's the main thing that we'll look for. Also health traits as well, because we like to keep cows with you know, low health traits to keep the cost of treatment down. And so just an overall healthier cow. The transition period from the conventional rotary system to the Lely Astronaut it didn't have um, a negative effect on milk production, it actually had an increase in milk production as they were being fed a TMR diet where um, they had the nutritional um, elements to keep the milking better and uh, we could feed to production as well so cows that were producing a lot more milk would be getting fed a bit better in the robot um, and this had a positive effect on the whole herd. Uh, management of the Jersey cows in a robot system doesn't change very much to a Holstein Frisian robotic barn. Um, the day-to-day -day routine is the same. The only thing different with the Jersey is they're a bit more efficient with feed conversion efficiency and in New Zealand we're paid on milk solids and these girls, you know, they, um, per kilo of live weight, they're, they're producing more milk solids. It's easier for us to find workers that want to work in the robot barns compared to the outside traditional grazing system just because it's different and it's interesting. Uh, normally an outside farm would be averaging maybe 20 litres a cow a day and the cows inside now are producing around 28 litres a day. Well I think the um, public's opinion is very important on dairy farms these days and I think if um, people can come and see the barns and how the cows are in the house system, see they're happy, they can eat whenever they want, they can lie you know, freely and get milked. I think it will change their views on dairy farming and hopefully for the better. If you don't like farming, it doesn't, uh, it's, it's a hard job to get into, you know, the early mornings, the long hours, you've got to really enjoy it and that's what we do. It's a lifestyle for us more than anything.